Big Zeus, the ruler of beats. What's up, everybody? You're tuned into Big Zeus Bodybuilding. In this video, I wanted to share with you how it's easy to eat good, wholesome food with a minimal amount of effort. A lot of people think that there's a whole lot of preparation and cooking and whatnot so they go for the easy pre-packaged foods well in this video I'll show you a way that you can have good foods and not do a whole lot of work I'm gonna use a change that I made in my diet as an example this is what I used to eat this is oven roasted cured chicken breast lunch meat it's a one pound package of processed uh, chicken lunch meat food okay and this is what I switched to this is uh, fresh chicken breast boneless skinless and as you can see it's 99 percent fat free says right there on the front label now going back to the lunch meat uh, package you take a look there's a total of four grams of fat per two ounce serving and in the two ounce serving you have nine grams of protein compare that to the fresh chicken breast where you only have one gram of fat in a four ounce serving and 26 grams of protein within that four ounce serving so if you split the four ounces in half to equal the two ounces of the lunch meat, then you still have 13 grams of protein. That's an increase of four grams of protein within the same measured weight of chicken. You have the nine grams in two ounces of the lunch meat, and you have the 13 grams of protein in two ounces of fresh chicken breast. Now also take a look at the sodium. In the fresh chicken breast, you have 75 milligrams of sodium compared to 670 milligrams of sodium in the lunch meat. So that is a significant decrease in sodium intake. And then again, look at the fat content. You have uh, 4 grams in a 2 ounce serving of the lunch meat compared to uh, one gram in a four ounce serving of fresh chicken breast which if you divide that in half to equal the two ounces of lunch meat you only have a half of gram of total fat zero saturated fat in the fresh chicken breast so as you can see fresh chicken breast is far superior to the the processed chicken lunch meat all right, let's get to cooking. Remember to always rinse your chicken before you cook it. You never know what may be on it. I'm only gonna use two seasonings on this chicken. The first is kosher salt. It's a less processed salt than table salt. The second is garlic powder. Now we'll close up the George Foreman grill and let that cook for about 15 minutes. And here is the cooked chicken only 15 minutes later and that's as easy as it is uh, I only use two seasonings on this but you can feel free to season it up however you would like and this is a great side that can go along with the chicken this is simply uh, frozen mixed vegetables and brown rice so there you go it's good wholesome foods a good quality foods and a minimal amount of effort now what I'll do the amount of chicken that I cooked will last me three or four days a uh, two pounds worth of chicken I'm able to put it in the refrigerator and use it as I need it and as I need the chicken I'll pull it out of the refrigerator cut off what I need weigh it out on my food scale and if I want to make a chicken sandwich, I cut off what I need for a chicken sandwich. If I want to put it in a recipe, I cut off what I need and throw it in the recipe. It's already cooked and ready to go, just like the pre-packaged processed chicken. Lunch meat. Mmm, meat. 
Now, since I've made this change in my diet, when I made that change, I noticed a difference in my body within two weeks or so. I, there was a noticeable difference in the mirror. My body had responded to the, the better quality food. And I'm actually building more muscle eating this food because of the higher protein content. But it's a good quality meal, a good quality food. So, until next time, have a good day.